Hey guys, it's Aussie Reptiles here. Now I'm bringing you a quick video, which I have already filmed. Um, however, I filmed it on an actual camera this time, and uh, the camera, for some reason this time, will not let me uh, send it from the camera to my actual phone to edit, so I am filming it again. But basically what this video is, is uh, how I have set up uh, my Gravid Blue Tongue, and um, the the substrate and whatnot I've put her on to uh, make it suitable for her to give birth on. So yeah, let's get straight into it. So basically this is the female's tank, and here is the girl. I apologise for the lighting, obviously the UV light doesn't really agree with the camera. So basically what I've done is I've put her on this fake grass mat. Um, instead of having her on the sugarcane mulch like my other one. Also, speaking of this one, this is Echo. I bred her to my yellow. She did actually drop slugs. So, um, yeah, I didn't even think she was gravid, and obviously she wasn't. But uh, she did pop out some slugs, which is pretty unfortunate. But uh, makes me pretty excited for next year. But back up here with this girl. So I've put her onto the fake grass because... Obviously, when she pops out her babies, they're going to come out in like an egg sack sort of thing, a clear um, a clear little sack, I guess. And uh, they eat that. Uh, it's their first meal and first like protein sort of thing. But basically, if they're born in this sugarcane mulch, it can get all over them and they may possibly eat it. And uh, they'll basically just get dirty. While on the other hand, the fake grass is just easier. Um, you can use substrate to, um, not substrate, you can use newspaper as well as the substrate. But I've just gone with the fake grass, it's a little bit more uh, visually pleasing rather than just newspaper. But uh, everything else is the same, she's got a log hide, which is actually a real bit of bark. Just this little fake plant, cause why not? A little log, water bowl, and food dish. Oh, that went dark. And then, yeah, she she's here, she just sits on this log and she's uh, pretty much lousing around. As it's hard for her to move and she's having trouble breathing. And... Uh, Hopefully soon, I think around maybe the 4th or the 5th of December, so uh, possibly earlier, maybe, so maybe the end of this month, early next month, um, so around December, and then hopefully the babies will be ready uh, later in December, or possibly January to our cell, or whatnot, i um, not sure what I'm doing with them. But yeah, hopefully she gets them out soon, just that way she doesn't have to be, feel uncomfortable anymore, but uh, until then, this has been... Just an update on the Gravid Girl pretty much and how I've set up her cage uh, for the time that she is pregnant. But I'll definitely do another video on her once she pops out some babies. So uh, yeah, that is how I've set up the tank. And uh, I recommend you guys either using the fake grass or newspaper as well if you do have any Gravid Blueys. I mean, they, they, there's no real problem with having them on an actual substrate. Um, but it's just easier and uh, obviously the clean up because there's going to be a lot of blood and whatnot. It'd be much easier to just take this out and give it a wash rather than cleaning out all the dirt. But uh, yeah, it's all optional and uh, you don't have to do it this way. Um, but I'd just recommend it. So yeah, that is that.